meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, today for our Tuesday was another hot, warm day. 91 degrees was a high in Baton Rouge, and unfortunately, we didn't get much rain to help cool us off during the afternoon hours. Most of the rain this evening, this afternoon, stayed down south of I-10 and 12. See, rain at this hour is down near the coastal regions, near areas like Morgan City and near New Iberia, as well as one shower just down to the south of New Orleans, beginning to fizzle out as well. Only a few lightning strikes, but we'll be on the mostly dry side as we finish off our Tuesday, going to the night. Out the door right now, still on the warmer side, 80. 9 degrees in Baton Rouge, but notice the humidity isn't all too bad into the 40% range right now because dew points are only in the low 60s, so it's not too bad out there. We do have some good cloud cover as well to block some of the sun, so it won't feel too hot stepping out the door this evening. But tonight, getting down into the mid to upper 60s for our overnight lows, about 69 Baton Rouge, 65 Liberty, and 68 down in Napoleonville. So another mild night overall. That's kind of the name of the story as you head toward you know, summer months. Pretty mild overall and winds again going to be light and variable tonight and tomorrow and that's go not going to help the issue with our air quality for tomorrow as well. Now, we do have an air quality alert for portions of our area still in, in effect until midnight tonight and then once again for, for tomorrow for our day on Wednesday. Again this is going to be the code orange which is unhealthy levels of ozone near the surface is really going to affect people and those sensitive groups out there during the peak heating hours. So if you can try to avoid the most uh, hot times of the day to the afternoon if you can uh, if you limit your outdoor exposure as well during the afternoon. Now, as you go throughout the day Wednesday, warming up quite nicely once again into the upper 80s and low 90s by those 4 o'clock hours as you head, head home once again from work tomorrow. And again, a chance for some rain into the afternoon evening hours, keeping rain coverage generally on the lower end for the afternoon. So let's look at it on the future track. Here's our barren model showing by the time we hit the afternoon, noon, 2 o'clock, you see a few showers across the area poss possible, a quick pop-up shower for light, moderate rainfall, but overall rain totals on the lower side. Here's about 5 to 7 p.m. See again a chance for showers as they move generally down to toward the coastal region. So most of us will be on the dry side once again for our day Wednesday, but there is that chance for a quick pop-up shower or, or storm. Same story as you're heading toward Thursday. However, we could see a little bit more coverage, especially on areas to the east of our region, east Route 55, could be seeing a few more coverage areas as well heading towards our region. And that's due to the disturbance I'll touch on in a moment over in the Gulf of Mexico. Now those will begin to move out of the way as well as we head toward our Friday, where we should see again some mostly dry conditions. Now overall rain totals on the lower end. I know our grass is probably not too happy with these numbers because you use some of that rain, but totals overall over the next seven days on the lower end, about a quarter of an inch, maybe about a tenth of an inch as well. For really because we have just a chance for an isolated maybe some scattered showers and a little be quick and light overall. Next five days dew points. You see they rise up generally as we go on Thursday into a Friday. Again, that's going to be due to some increased moisture thanks to our tropical disturbance out in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Now, thankfully for us, we're not expecting really any major impacts for Louisiana as this begins to move eastward, taking its time heading toward Florida for the weekend and over into the Western Atlantic by the new work week. Again, only a slight chance for a development over the next seven days. They have it at about 20%, only going to bring some heavy rainfall and some gusty winds for Florida. Now, as you head toward June, this is where we typically look for tropical development for June overall in the Gulf of Mexico and into the eastern, uh, eastern seaboards and the western Atlantic. So, of course, we'll make sure you do have preparations in place as you head toward hurricane season starting on Thursday. Next seven days, rather warm overall highs in those low 90s, even as you head toward the weekend, we could see a slight uptick in rain coverage and rain chances as we begin our new work week. Andrew.